We have a plan. We'll capture a river merchant's caravan and use their tugboat to infiltrate the bridge. But since the caravan isn't here yet, the colonel gave me the go-ahead to get the passenger carriage Katya told us about. To do that, I first need to go to the terminal and get Crest railcar from there. It might be a good time to explore the surroundings.
Don't shoot, man. I surrender.
here. Wow. That's amazing! Uncle Tom. I knew you Where had great potential, even back then at the Jammer. Teddy? Teddy! Are you really back? You're my hero, Teddy! Mom! Teddy's back! Arturo, what do you have to say? Come up here. I have something to oh, talk to you, you about. Uncle Artyom. Thank you so much. Thank you, Artyom. I don't even know how to thank you. Spasibo. Thank you, Artyom. You are the man. I am in your debt. Come on, Artyom. Come up here. Yeah. Come on. The old man's waiting. You're back. You did great. Thank you. So, here's the plan. Your group captures the tugboat. Then you, Duke and Crest, take it to the bridge. While Crest distracts the guards, you and Duke infiltrate the control room at the top and lower the bridge. On your mark, we'll ram the gates, pick you up, and... And... I pray to God it works out. Hmm. I can't give you or Duke any direct support. The data we have tells us the enemy's main force is guarding the gate. One more thing, Artyom. Look after Duke, all right? He's a great scout, but uh, prone to unnecessary risks. Now, sure, he's young, but if he continues like that, who knows what will happen? Huh? So give him a good example and do it smoothly and quietly. You are his role model, and as such should remember that you are special forces, not tank jocks. Good luck, Artyom. Welcome back, Ranger. <laughs> it looks like I've been worrying for nothing. <sighs> it's my age, I guess. Oh, well, we were all worried. Yeah, but Anna took it to a whole new level, I must say. Artyom, look, I have an improvement for Tiha ready. Try taking it out for a trial. You're welcome to use the workbench to install it. So, are you ready for that final push? Wow, where did you get this? God damn, this is cool. Thank you, man. You just blew my mind.
Come up here on the crane. Follow me, but... They have about 15 guards. Four at the tugboat ladder, sentries at the pier. Sam... Sam will take the right flank. Come in, Sam. I'm in position. A guard. Duke is to the left of the hangar. Come in. Duke in position, ready to take the guard off. Idiot is on the far crane. Ready for action. Got a mark on everyone on the pier. Crest has scouted out the basement. There is only two of them here. Busy repairing something, so <sighs> this seems to be the best spot for quite. You're in charge. You call the shots. Okay, well, it's high time we started. So try to get on that tugboat. We'll give you cover. Let's go over the plan one more time. Once the tugboat is in our hands, Sam, Idiot, and I will go back to the Aurora, while Artyom, Duke, and Crest take the boat to the bridge. Good luck, everyone. Watch out! On your right! Look! You could climb aboard there. I'll distract them, you get on. Hide here and wait for them to pass. Check. All right, let's do that. I'll avenge you if you get eaten. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Just don't shoot my ass, though, okay, you avenging angel? Attention, on your right. about 20 clicks from there. Fuck those outposts. You're talking about the outpost? Yeah, the hell the last time you were there, those fucking so-called vigilant watchmen made a thief out of our bridge. Everything was all right while we were unloading the wares, but when the time came to pay up... There are narrow spaces between the cargo. Squeeze through them. Will we have power today or what? We've got a job to do! Not tobacco, it's bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can't 
to eat all the fish. Anyway, oh, you yeah, yeah, yeah. quit scaring the, the fish away with your bullshit. It's high time it started what? biting. All right, eat all you want. Crazy. Quit scaring the fish. <laughs> Uh, smoke? Damn what I wouldn't keep from smoke right now. Shit, fucking shift is just endless. He's gone now. Move on. Huh? Yup! So how long are we going to keep sitting on our thumbs here? Well, Mikhailovich is working on it. The generator shuts off. Nothing the there now. Oh well. That's because you should have picked up normal spark plugs, not the shit you got. It sure would have saved us a lot of trouble. Huh? Well, Who goes they there? Not so bad. Look how long they lasted. And Ahmed wanted two more clips from you guys. There so... was that shadow. This... Okay. But anyway, so what's what's your nothing problem? after all. Are you in a hurry? This place gives me the creeps. That monster in the river? This shit is too much! <laughs> it's a shame you aren't in Chiboxery. What? What is that? Oh, one of those monsters sunk a barge. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I can pay the, the goods! Take them! You can take the goods! Stay calm! It's us! We don't need your goods! Your tugboat, on the other hand! You can collect it at the bridge if you play your cards right! You got me? Uh, yes, of course! Order your people to stand down, and nobody gets hurt! At once! Hey, listen up, people! This is your skipper! Stand down and surrender at once! You did the right thing. It's nice to talk to a smart guy for a change. Now go! <laughs> Great job, Artyom! Artyom, all of our guys are fine. You did great! Who might have 
you not, we have no time to waste. Good luck, guys. I hope the winds are fair and the waters are smooth. And Artyom, watch it out there. Oh yeah, we're gonna need that luck, all right. Fair winds. Hurra! Man your stations, weigh anchor! We're gonna go about halfway there, then wait in the reeds until about 4 o'clock. We want to get there early in the morning, when the fog is the thickest and they are sleepy after the morning prayer. Artyomich, Duke, you're on final approach. Yeah, see that fire at the very top? That's the control post. What well, used to be anyway, now it's a shrine, Blade. Closer to God at the top, you see. That's where you have to go. I'll distract the guards now. Sure! Catch the line! Ready! Hey, sailor! What did you do to your barge? What you gonna sell now? <laughs> Whoa! You're so funny! Jackass, bullet. So, Artyom, shall we move? Man? Whoever gets there first we wins! Break a leg! That Kadia and her wish fall escaped in all the confusion. There's a rumor that people saw her with the heretics. So you think they might attack? Real vow to eradicate all the demons. You don't just come back after that. Well, ask anyone. They got captured by heathens, but a heretic, one of the new ones, freed them. <laughs> old Simon just got called Pete. That's all. All the stories people tell not to go. No, he's not. He came back and with a huge fuss at the church and got his way too. Now we will be praying for that heretic instead of Simon. You got that? It will please God though, that Simon. What next? 
just made the sign of the cross, kissed the altar, and went back to the demons. And the ground burns to ash, and the seas boil, and people turn into shadows. But our cloister survives, for the faithful reside here, and the Lord in his mercy and wisdom. One among them who goes by the name of Silantius. And so speaketh the Lord. I will be with you and will keep you safe, provided you are true in your devotion. Provided you reject satanic technology. We reject.
the electric current, his faith and temptation, and his poison. Only those who reject electricity will be allowed into the kingdom of God. Only those who remain unsullied by its corruption will be led through <laughs> the garbage. Glory to the fish! So let us not fear the enemies at our door. The ones who attack our cloister. Even with their iron speed standing before us, stinking of machine oil and shining its heretical light upon us, we will not falter. Let us fear ourselves against them. For this is our hour of glory. with no rest or mercy. For we carry out the will of our Lord, and it is His retribution and punishment for their sins. We'll never get past the fish. So you got me in their tactics. You took Gatcha, and now you have me. Damn, you are quicker too. the whole time, and Katya asked us to take her along herself. Do you get me? Sure thing. First, you kill off the local cutthroats, and then you switch to us. Will you kill elders and children too? Or have you drunk enough blood already? Leave us for good now. God may punish you for your sins, but my responsibility is to tend my flock. That's a good boy. Hear me, brothers! Hold your fire! You hear me? I'll excommunicate everyone who shoots! Well, I did all I could, but just don't shoot! And tell the driver to keep it slow! The bridge is in shambles, so don't stop, or the bridge might collapse! You will have to jump. Do here. We've reached an agreement. They will let us through if we don't shoot and move slowly. And don't stop. I repeat, do not stop. Over! Artyom, let's jump! Well, that's a job well done, huh? <laughs>since so far we haven't met any signs of enemy occupation. Artyom, Artyom, wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom. The colonel wants you on the bridge. See you later. Come on, wake up. You did a great job there. We are not home anymore, so we'd all better act like you did, smoothly. It's not like there's many of us humans left now. So I hope someday we will be able to trust others just because. Because they are people too. Am I bothering you? Sorry, I'm in a philosophical mood today.
have we been on the road for? I've been listening to the radio, too. And there was not a single transmission about any occupying force. There's so much regular chatter. So many stories. Dad says all those are coded transmissions, that they all have hidden meaning, but... Why would they be so secretive? Why aren't they using this railroad? Why don't they at least control its key junctions? Why did they not install any roadblocks? If they are even out here. This is the main transport artery, after all. Maybe they are not here at all. Maybe they never came here, or they are already gone. Though, where to? Remember? Neither Katya nor Crest have ever met them. Though, we seem to be doing just fine even without them. It's like Middle Ages. That Salantius is treating people like slaves, getting them killed. I can't believe they had it worse without his lies, nonsense, and human sacrifices. And us? We had been living down there for so many years, fighting each other. And nobody even thought you could live outside. You know, I had a talk with Katya. I'm sitting here recalling that bridge and those people there, and we've been sitting underground for 20 years, and they haven't. So what? These are not the same people who used to build cities, planes, and space rockets. They are just like us in Metro, only even more dejected. They are essentially slaves, for real. They work all day and pray all night, always watched, always directed. Everything is under control. Everything is decided by the community. Well, I mean, Salantius. They don't even have any property. Even their socks belong to the community. They're just entranced with him, with these ridiculous lies about electricity. Of course, not everyone got fooled easily, but if they dare ask questions, they get penance, exercising an electric demon with prayer and the cross. But that's a death sentence. How is a flashlight dangerous? Or a radio? But no, they shun it all. They hide and keep praying. 
How can you even make people believe this ridiculous garbage within just a few years? People in general start believing lies surprisingly easily, don't they? As long as those lies are convenient or at least familiar. Take us in Metro. All right, we haven't met the occupying forces yet. If we disregard that shirt I found on an antenna, <coughs> Katya and Crest never met them either. But maybe they are still out there somewhere. And if they are, then they didn't even tell us about them back home. They didn't tell us that the war was still on. They just made us believe that there's no life anywhere outside of Metro. They've been lying to us. Lying non-stop. All this time. Were their intentions good? Perhaps. But the Metro is a castle built on lies. <sighs> Damn, am I angry. And so far, no matter how far we get, we haven't met a single enemy. Isn't that strange? But Father won't have a word of it. Stay vigilant, be careful, the enemy never sleeps. You know, I love my father. A whole lot, no matter what. But what if everything he's been told is just another layer of lies? I hope we'll find out how deep this rabbit hole is, once we get to Yamantau. <sighs> well, what do you know? I do feel better now, after telling you. Thanks for hearing me out, Artyom. Let's just sit here a little. Alright, run along. Dad wanted something. stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this too. Looks like we're facing a long journey and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. But it's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know? Old Duke's plate carrier won't hold the back plate anymore, and he jokes that he's lucky it's not the front one, or else his toes would be in danger. <sighs> Regardless, I am turning this little gang back into a real army. Well, that's it. I bragged enough and won't waste any more of your time. The Colonel summoned you. Well, I have stuff to do too. You guys are fast to break gear, but none too expedient to fix it. Uncle Tokarev! Uncle Tokarev! Oh, a smoke break. That's good. Oh, this is one mean smoke. Yeah, this is rough. Well, <clears throat> nothing we couldn't take. <clears throat> well, you are the right kind of guys. You, the Colonel, Duke, that guy did a swell job on that bridge. And now he's bragging about it like a child. He's a child, really, no, a child, but he's good. So, uh, yeah, what did I want to say? Ah, uh, yes. 
Thank you. You you people accepted me, and and I, I I'm a simple guy. I, I I will pay the debt back. Okay. So, how do you like it out here after your tunnels? Freedom, huh? Sure thing. So much space. It feels too empty to me, though. Just reeds and ruins and those damn mutants. Hate them. Phew. Though you guys are gonna see the government. So, Bratuha, don't be mad, but just tell me. What the hell do you even need them for? Well, of course it might be interesting to take a look, but throughout all of my rambling, I only met two kinds of ex-government people. Dead ones and gang leaders. And let me tell you, the latter are much worse than your typical bandit. They just have to make a speech before doing something awful. So what I mean, I, I didn't really care about the government even before the war, much less now, when everything's long since gone to shit. So what for, really? I'm a simple man, Artyomich. I told I'm with you, that means I'm with you for the long haul. But I'd much rather find a nice place to live at than go see the government. Of course, they could give us luxury bunkers or something. Well, Artyom. You seem cold. Go get warmed up a bit. I'll smoke some more. I have stuff to think about. Or just stay. <laughs> we have enough space now. What would you like to ask, Nastya? 